Hey, what's up, YouTube? Caesar Carbohaw coming at you, Pepino Man, with uh, another video. Just so I can give you guys an update of what I've been doing. Actually, I did go with the LCS yesterday and buy a lot of cards. Well, not a lot, but but I'll show that for another day. Where now, I just want to show you guys what I've been up to so far with my video. Uh, what I'm doing with my sets. I just took the set out of the box and put it in the binder. If you know what this is, it's the 81 Fleer. It's a nice set. I don't know if you guys, how many of you guys are just set collectors, which is like my thing. Look at that Nolan Ryan there. Not too shabby. But, um, so this is the 81 Fleer. You said it doesn't even say Fleer on the front or anything. Um, that was their first set, their comeback set. I mean, they had they had sets before, vintage sets. Um, and then this is the 82 Fleer, which I also thought was complete, but I'm also missing one card, a Buddy Bell. And, um... You know, every every um maker does their thing different. As you can see, this is the '82. So who won the World Series in '81? That's right, the Dodgers. So they're the first ones. You know, they're the first team that comes out, the champions. And then who was in second place? Who they beat in the World Series? Oh yeah, the Yankees. So then the Yankees are second. So I always thought that was pretty cool in the way the teams are kept together. You can see it's all Dodgers, all Yankees, Johnny Bench. It's all the Reds. So that's one good thing I like about um, Fleer. They all have their own niche and that's one of Fleer's niches which is actually pretty cool because you could put your, divide your cards into teams and they're pretty much almost in numerical order. And another set I was working on that I started putting into a box, uh, from the box into my binder is uh, 85 Tops. It is an awesome set to have. The one with the Mark McGuire um, Olympic card. But um, yeah, so I'm putting it in binders. When I put them into binders, I don't actually have them in binders. I like to have my pages loose. It's so much easier to work with and just stick the cards in then have them be restricted to the mobility if you have them in a binder. It's a lot faster if you put them out. Just put them in the sheets first and then put the binder in. Um, and I also, I did have a mail day today. Um, if you guys don't know Tanner Man, um, check him out. He does, um, I ordered, uh, this is not a, a card card per se it's a custom kit to make my own custom card uh the grand unveiling look it comes with instructions even you can't get more professional than that man that's that's professionalism so that's from tanner man instructions look at that it's got a serial number and everything and wow comes in a case you know whenever somebody sends a case i'm, I'm very very impressed because i mean i collect in the 80s and only like expensive ass cards were in cases not like cases are so cheap everybody has them in cases but still impresses me thanks for the case too the magnetic case and um so you can see oh it's a, a card it's two pieces so you can make your own relic autograph whatever you want so, I um, don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, but I'll do something. So, keep an eye out. And then, thanks, Tannerman, Tannerman Jones. So, check him out. And um, I don't know how to do all that link and all that other high-tech stuff. So, Tannerman Jones, that Tannerman Baseball. So, that's my update of what I've been up to. Thanks for watching.